Hello and welcome to JG3 Reviews. My name is James and this is the Fountain Pen Revolution Guru. I mentioned a couple of weeks ago that I had a few pens from FPR that I wanted to share with you and this of course is one of those. It's a piston filler. It is a very reasonably priced pen. I had no experience with it until uh, probably a couple of months ago just before all the COVID stuff I think is when I got it and I wanted to know for so little money what do I get in what from one of their fountain pens. Would I like it? Would I not like it? How's it made? And so I'm going to share that with you today. So let's flip the camera. Okay, so let's take a closer look at the, uh, <laughs> I almost said the NPR guru, the FPR guru, Fountain Pen Revolution. So this is a simple red resin pen and you can get it in several different colors. I'll put a picture up here uh, with some, what's available. And just a nice, simple, design. You've seen probably that clip before. I've seen it on pins from all over the world. And uh, just that torpedo shape at this end ends in a conical uh, top uh, finial on the cap. And one thing about it, you may notice, I did when I got it, that on mine, I don't know, this is probably just mine from the way it looked when I looked at it. The you see there's a gap there and it's just at a slight angle. That's actually after I have trimmed a little bit off of that piece that was on the inside and just kind of made that fit a little bit better because it was more crooked than that. I don't know if that's normal because this is the only pin that I have of the uh, FPR Guru, but I did have that. Overall, the build quality is good. This clip is really strong. The uh, trim rings look nice. They do have the same issue I had with the Darjeeling, and that's that they are not flush to the pen. Not a big deal. It's not a complaint. Uh, just a, an advisory that you can feel that. They're a little bit sharp, and if they're rubbing against another pen, they might be a little bit more delicate in its materials or have a finish. You don't want to scratch off. Just don't put it next to that in the pen roll. Uh, so just kind of be forewarned about that. Fit and finish really good uh, because this is your uh, twist for the piston that fills the pen because this is a piston filler and that fit and finish is really nice and tight. And so that's good. Uh, one of the things I like about Fountain Pen Revolution's pens, the ones that I have so far, is the uh, when you take off the cap, it does not take long because of the pitch they have to their threads. So you see that's one complete turn and then half turn. So one and a half turns is all it takes to get the cap off. I like that. It's a small thing, but I like that. It also has, as you notice, the ink window. And uh, you can probably already tell I have Apache Sunset, but not much left. I've used most of that that was there. Uh, the nib. Let's see here if I can get a good angle on that nib and get it to focus. Uh, is a number five, I believe. I'm going to double check that and I'll put a note here. Uh, but a number five nib, I believe. And could be 5.5. 5 .5. I'll, I'll, I'll double check. But this nib, I find it to be good. I find it to be smooth and a good writer. I did at first have just, this is a medium, and it just gushed ink. I mean, I mean it, I had diamine ox blood and it looked like I had butchered an, an ox all over my paper. It just was, it was too much. It was enough ink to bleed through on, um, what do you call that paper? Well, good night. I just lost it. Rhodia. Uh, <laughs> the Rhodia paper uh, just would bleed through that. And if you bleed through Rhodia, you got too much ink. So uh, what I did, it has an ebonite feed, which for a uh, five on sale, nine at full price, pen is is not that common anymore and so I appreciate that so I heat set I checked the alignment and heat set the nib and I don't have that problem anymore now the flow is exactly where I want it and I have Apache Sunset in here and that is an ink that I find in some of my pens I don't I don't like it the flow is is weird or something and it doesn't maybe it's too thin and it doesn't highlight the Apache color variants uh, but this one now is, is just exactly where I want it to be and kind of highlights the ink. It writes better. It doesn't bleed through and it's just right. So that's just something I did. It's kind of, it may be that it's a tinkerer's pen. Uh, and if that's the case, if that's, you know, normal, you know, I've had a couple of things to tinker with, then that's good because that's, that doesn't bother me a bit. Uh, but I like that it has an ebonite feed and so it heats it 
very well. It is, as I said, very easy to disassemble and maintain and I like that as well. And so uh, when I went to change out the ink, I took it all apart. I'll put that picture up here and uh, just found a very good, easy pen to maintain, clean out thoroughly uh, between different colors of ink. And, and it's nice because FPR has actually uh, put those instructions online and you can find those on their YouTube channel, how to disassemble this pen and clean it out. So that's always cool. All right, let's... Uh, go ahead and look at our writing test. All right, let's see how this pen writes. And again, this is the Fountain Pen Revolution, and I'm just gonna initial that. And this is the Guru. This one has a medium nib, and this is Noodlers. You know I'm a fan of theirs. And this is the ever popular Apache Sunset. I had to get this ink a while back just to see what all the hype was about because I, I hadn't been familiar with that particular color uh, in person, seeing it uh, actually written. I love it. I love the variants. I get what that's all about. And like I said, I, I just find that this pen is a good pairing. Of course, there are lots of them that are, uh, but of what I've used it in, it's one of them that I like the best. There you go. So a bit wet, but like I say, it used to be a gusher. So this is a nice balanced wetness uh, to me. So much, much improvement just by heat setting uh, that nib. You'll hear that it has some feedback. I don't find it to be too draggy. It's not the most buttery smooth, but now when I say that, I'm not saying that it's uh, scratchy or draggy or anything like that. It just uh, has that nice graphite-like feedback that some of us like. Not everybody, but, but I like it. That gives you an idea. You don't need to see the whole alphabet. And I'm going to scribble. I've gotten to where I like to scribble. Look at that. That shows you flow, doesn't it? So, uh, do I like the pen? You know, I do. Um, it is, I would consider this a great pen for trying out different inks like this. I like that it has the ink window. I. Uh, it's a light pen to hold. Very comfortable to write with. Easy to flush out and maintain, as I mentioned before. I like the nib. One, again, a great thing about Fountain Pen Revolution is that you can experiment with different nibs. They're very inexpensive. Uh, you can pop another nib on there if it's too fine, too broad. Uh, you can try a flex nib, all that good stuff. So it, it provides kind of a neat little platform, inexpensive, to tinker and try different inks and things like that. So I, that's, that's what I would use it for. That's what I am using it for. Um, it probably wouldn't be my daily writer, but but I like to use it and I like it uh, with this ink and it's probably what I'm gonna keep in it most of the time. And that I usually use to write personal notes and, and uh, things to people. And so uh, I, I like it. And certainly for the price that you pay, whether it's uh, on sale or full price, it's a good value. So I would check out the Fountain Pen Revolution if you're curious about that. There you go. Uh, it's It may not be perfect, but I tell you, I, I really like it. So like, share, subscribe. There may be somebody that you might uh, want to share this pen with or share this review with. And uh, I encourage you to do that. God bless you and have a good week.